Hi, this is Max. I'm the lead engineer for PlotHound, and in this video I'm going to show you how you can use PlotHound to cruise with your phone or tablet. So the first thing is to log in with the account that you've created on the Canopy website. And once you're logged in, the first thing we'll want to do is download some of your cruises onto your phone. Now, the only time you actually need to be connected to the internet on PlotHound is when you download your cruises at the beginning of the day and when you upload your data at the end. Now, you'll want to zoom in on the, the map you see on this download page to wherever you've got your stands located because then it'll filter those stands geographically. So we got one cruise that we've downloaded to our phone now. You can see it on a map. And uh, the first thing we're going to want to do is navigate to one of those plots. So we'll select the cruise and then we'll choose which of the plots we want to go to. We'll start off with plot one. And so then this page will show us how to navigate to that plot. You can see we've got some walking to do to get to this one uh, and if you want to you can save your GPS location once you arrive at the plot. And then once we're actually at the plot we can choose the sampling method we want to use. Uh, there's a bunch to choose from in here. We can make any notes that we want to make about the plot itself and then we'll just start entering trees here in the, in the list below. And uh, we designed this to just be really quick. Uh, it's mostly drop-down lists that you can select the values from uh, with the species, we choose the top 30 species in your area, but if you need to get sort of an odd species, you can just click over to that Alt tab and pick, pick whatever species you need. So we'll start off with the black gum, and then we'll scroll down and choose uh, the, the DBH we want. And uh, For each tree, the only two required fields are the species and diameter, but you can add a, all these other attributes if you want to. You can see you can expand the the tree row and add things like age and crown ratio as well as the uh, the heights that we saw up above. So once we're done with the tree we just move on to the next one and it's it's really as easy as that. Now if you do want uh, to enter diameters down to the tenth of an inch or if you want to enter just whatever diameters you want you can you can just type it in using that text entry box up at the top and you can add an, any value that you want for the diameters, for the heights, anything like that. Uh, the, the products, too, are, are pulled from your merchantability specs that you set up in Canopy before you go out and cruise. Uh, it's also easy to delete trees if you've accidentally added, added one that wasn't in your plot. And when you're done, you just hit Complete Plot, and you'll see a little checkbox pops up there. And then, then you're done. Now, now all that's left is to send this data back to the website, so you just hit this button for upload cruise data. You can see your number of unsynced plots just went down to zero. And if we go back to this cruise, you'll see it's 20% complete and the plot shows up as synced. And so that's uh, that's really all there is to using PlotHound. We tried to make it just really simple and easy. If you want to, you can you can alter the units that you're collecting your diameter and your heights in. Um, but besides that, it's uh, really just designed to get you out in the woods and cruising with, with no training required. So that's Plot Hand, and give it a shot.